Columbia's ex fire chief is suing the city and the city manager. Ty Cobb claims he was fired for asking the city to investigate why a citizen armed with an AR 15 was allowed to join law enforcement during a school shooting scare. The lawsuit accuses the city of retaliating against Cobb for using his First Amendment rights. Here's News 2's Mark Kelly. The seven page lawsuit filed in federal court centers around a hoax call at Columbia Central High School and a fire chief calling for an investigation. Attorney Rob Bigelow represents Chief Ty Cobb. He was an exemplary citizen uh, who, had, who had not gotten in trouble. Uh, in, in the past with his job or anything else. May 2023, a caller reports a shooter in the school. In the end, there was no shooter. The entire call was a hoax, but the story takes a twist. According to Fire Chief Ty Cobb, in the middle of law enforcement assessing the situation, this man a civilian named Roy Brooks puts on a tactical vest, carries an AR-15, and shows up on school grounds to help law enforcement. Brooks is former law enforcement, and Cobb knows him. I mean, he knew the individual who was a civilian at the time, and he was extremely concerned uh, for, uh, you know, that there shouldn't be someone who's civilian grabbing an AR-15, jumping in with, uh, jumping in with the SWAT team. Bigelow says that out of concern for public safety, his client wanted the city to investigate why Brooks, a regular citizen, was able to join law enforcement on campus with a semi-automatic weapon. He spoke out and and asked for help uh, and asked for an investigation and that this um, and that ultimately he was retaliated against. The suit states that in response to Mr. Cobb's complaints, the city manager suspended him and placed him on probation, citing insubordination. March 2024, the city manager fired Cobb for, quote, unacceptable activities. It turned his world upside down. It absolutely turned his world upside down. I mean, this is a man who's dedicated so much of his his life and his his time uh, to the city of Columbia and to being a member of the fire department. And he, it's something that um, he wants, like I said, he, he wants to get back doing. And uh, the complaint asks for reinstatement, and hopefully that's something that'll happen. Mark Kelly. News 2. News 2 reached out to Columbia City Manager Tony Massey, who says he will not be making any public comments because the matter is in litigation. We also reached out to Roy Brooks' attorney, but have yet to hear back. Prosecutors dropped the charges against Brooks.